Hey guys, for the final From Chump to Champ with Chimps video for the year, we'll be talking about Jedi Link vs CJ from December's Ren Bats. Let's go! So before we get started, I always want to talk about the assists involved. CJ is using Savage Bypass H, Excelabella and Beat Extend Medium, and Jedi is using Dragon Bite and Beat Extend L. Here, Valentine is supposed to be the point character, right? So we're not going to be seeing your assist very often. For Bella, Excelabella doesn't really stop a lot of stuff from happening because uh, it's not really the best anti-air assist of any kind it doesn't have any any invincibility at all and BDX and M is not a very good anti-air assist it has it has better pickup ability than light BDX and that is the main reason I'd, I think that CJ would be using it is so that he can pick up off everything uh, consistently on everybody Outside of that, it's standard beat extend, it's a good vertical assist or like a good DP assist, the best DP assist in the game. And Jedi is using the classic Dragon Bite beat and beat extend. So here, Jedi's assists are good at counterbalancing each other. So Squiggly's, Squiggly's assist is good for Big Band and Big Band, assist, Big Band assist is good for Squiggly. Just so he can get charged and um, just a good anti-air and just don't mess around assist. So let's just jump right in, shall we? <sighs> so first set, first game. We'll sort of just go through the game and I'll talk about stuff as it comes along and if there's anything me worth mentioning we'll go back to it after the match. Stand jab, that ja dash jab sort of stuff like, it's really risky because it's a mid so they can block it whichever way and it's also, so it's not going to beat any blocking and also it... Um... Sorry what I was going to say. It uh... Oh, nice overhead. It's a stand jab, so it, like it doesn't stop them from like blocking whichever way, and also it's, it doesn't. It's not very good at meeting the beat extent. That's what I wanted to mention. Okay, just a uh, failed incoming and quickly jumps out. Is that gonna? Oh, that only caught big band. Yeah, need to be. Yeah, need to be more cognizant of those sort of mix-ups there. Being good at sort of catching that down back beatix and call with like a dash MGR or something would be good. I think CJ's use of MGR is very very limited. He doesn't really use it pretty much ever. Relies pretty much mostly on diamond drop. I think diamond like doing that is all right. I guess he's gonna get a pick up here, but like more MGR would be good. I think just in general, it it makes Bella's mix up so much more uh, threatening. CJ knows the good combos here. Big Ben should be dead. What the heck? Surely that was an input error. Okay. Wow, that didn't. Oh, yeah, it doesn't. Okay, wow. What a match. Surely got out. That sucks. Normally people would just stay in there. That sucks. Nice eight train. Yeah, spin the bar so you can confirm off and do the combo afterwards. Oh, he knows the good combos here. Nice. Yeah. Oh, wow, he actually went for the reset. That's, that's pretty, uh, it's pretty ballsy. I wouldn't have gone for it. I didn't expect it, so. Do the resets that they don't expect, so they work. Nice, nice cleanup by CJ's Big Man, actually. We're gonna skip to the next game. So there, I think Valentine didn't really do anything, so we didn't get to talk about it. So it's mostly just Bella Band doing the things. First game. Let's see if that continues on in the rest of the games. Okay, that reset. Uh, Jedi messed that up. That is a reset that works as like a cross up. He can do a same side there as well with jump medium punch to go back forward. Anyway, this Valentine is gonna die again. Uh, okay. Yeah, chip is a big factor here. Wow, I can call it. Yeah, Valentine still didn't do anything again. I wonder if that will be a thing that we will see all the time. <laughs> Seems to be a very standard Swiggly game so far. Swiggly has no meter though. What a 360. He was trying to do the burst bait but messed it up and CJ got the 360 out. This is gonna be- oh no! Wow what a safe DP. Whoa! What the hell was all that? It's gonna jank. That was- a, that was really weird. The crash like it comboed and then the crash medium punch was delayed. Oh no, Carl messed that. He messes that up so many times, dude. Yeah, he's gonna tag here. 
Level 3 good for- Oh, no level 3? Okay. Might have been- Uh, this should be- Uh, I would've just killed Big Ben here. Uh, surely he could've killed Big Ben, I think. A-train? You shouldn't- You can A-train or taunt. You should not- You should take either of them. You shouldn't do neither. Wow, nice crutch punch. Uh, weird. <laughs> uh, weird. <laughs> Yeah, level 3 here, please. Go, please, dude. Big Ben cleaned up again this time. But that was a really weird game. Um, Valentine's didn't really, didn't really do anything. I wonder if that would be the focus moving forward, I think. I hope not. I want to see Valentine do some things. Anyway, we skip forward. Oh, I should probably skip back a little bit just to see if they change anything. They don't seem to change anything. So we move forward. Okay, his run stats are really, they don't seem to cover beat extend that well, I think. That, that was like the best one. Oh, this Valentine's dead now. Yeah, this is over. Valentine doesn't do anything. Whoa, combo drop. No, that's a bad idea. Yeah, don't ever swing on swing on Big Ben while squiggly is charging. That's actually the worst idea ever. Because that's the exact thing, he, thing he's looking for. He's looking for you to hit Big Ben some way so that he can do a sing. Uh, and punish you for that. It's actually the worst idea. But anyway, got the Risa here. Get some chunky damage. Into probably one of the best mix-ups in the entire game. Best Risa setups in the entire game. Wow. No! Oh no, this was a dead squiggly. No, and he's gonna get her out. No! Um, I made a video on this. I should link it somewhere on how to deal with squiggly SBO into tag. It's a good resource. Wow. He's gonna lose. Oh my god. Surely. Oh no. Imagine losing Cerebella for that. Oh, it's hurt this time. <sighs> Double jump back. Yeah, this is safe DT. If you do all four hits though, you should be able to threaten with a PBGC or something. Did he push block there? I'm actually not even sure. Oh, he did. He did the last, uh, the second to last hit. So if you do, the, if you push block the second to last hit, it will stay back in. Um, the rule is that if the point makes contact with anything, if if the attacker makes contact with anything after you block something from the attacker, they won't get pushed back from the push block, so they'll stay in. Um, it's useful to have it's useful for PBDC punishes, but you're not gonna PBDC punish Squiggly for anything. So it's mostly just good for Squiggly rather than bad for Squiggly. Anyway, we move forward. So Valentine needs to do something that's like not beat extendable run style. Okay, finally did something. So Valentine neutral. Ah, oh, yeah, that button is pretty good. That button is like a decent low crush. And also two hits and confirmable and everything by itself. Gets Vio loaded. Oh, drops the combo though. Okay, not gonna get beat extended again this time. Wow, what the? Oh, oh the curse like punch hit just big band. He wasn't, Jedi wasn't ready. No, what a drop. Like, oh no. Oh, what a good grab actually. No, why did he dash forward like that? That was so bad. There's no reason to dash forward so much. What the? Okay. He, Carl recognized that B. Dixon was coming, so he blocked, but didn't matter. Anyway, DAT, big damage time. Ooh, Half Life is gone already. Uh, one. Yeah, one guess will kill here. Oh, never mind. Into. Uh, weird. Okay. Nice salvaging. A train? You can A train there. Didn't matter. It's Big Man only, but you can A train. It's pretty funny. No! Okay, cool. Uh, people do that mix up very predictably uh, and always end up with the same side mid. If you're a little bit closer to the uh, edge of the screen, you can get like a cross up there as well. 
and the closer you are to the edge of the screen the easier it is to make it a cross up and like they can't double jump out of it as easily anyway Valentine actually did things this game and he didn't get beat in it that's good the main thing he wants to be avoiding in the point battle uh, CJ does is to get beat extended and uh, he did that so that was good but you know that's that should be like the standard that you shouldn't just get stupidly beat extended for anything um, obviously it's his, it's his newest character so I can't blame him too much for that but it's pretty it's pretty important to be able to do that and uh, I mean other than that uh, Jedi messes up a few things there here and there it's it's overall a bit of a sloppy set it's not the cleanest thing ever that's okay Anyway, we move forward. So, not good beat extended here. Never mind. Now he's to get out of here. Yeah, no, that's actually not good. Um, because Quigley gets a charge for free. And he only, like, punished it some... Punished it kind of... Small. Like, he didn't punish it very hard. Um, punishing Big Ben with, like, a launcher would be really good. Anyway, it doesn't matter. Big Ben's getting double snapped. So punishing the assist with like a launcher or something is way more beneficial than punishing it just with like a dead cross. Especially because the dead cross doesn't hit like everywhere. Like it doesn't pass through the opponent, sorry. So like that part is also pretty important. Oh wow, nice mix up. Nice. Nice up back. Uh, CJ could hard read that with an Excelabella, but he's never going to do that. And that's fine. Anyway, a decisive game from Jedi so far. Jump back on incoming there. That requires, especially because it, Valentine is his point character. Wow, that he could hit. That requires him to save his double jump. You can't like if you. Oh, oh my! Oh no! Valentine cannot happy birthday these characters. It's actually impossible. Um. Anyway, what else? Uh, we'll get back to it. Yeah, has a block here. No. That was really janky. Okay. Anyways, I was saying, um, oh, well, I can't, that was not these characters. What things CJ needs to be doing better is not to do just dead crosses at the assist like that. Normally, it's pretty good to do that because most people can't punish you for that. But Squiggly is dedicated to punishing you for doing things like that. Um, and especially because dead cross is like a projectile that stops when Big Ben's body gets hit. It's not like a robo beam where it just goes through. Or it's not like a diamond deflector um, projectile that just like goes through people regardless. Doesn't get used up. Um, but yeah, need to keep that in mind. It couldn't really counter call there. Yeah, because he's not playing brass. So. Oh, okay, God. No! Man, dropping these confirms. Whoa! Yeah, that's the gamble of trying to use a DP assist on, on defenses. If he gets wrong, you're gonna get owned. Oh, uh, yeah, he couldn't burst there. I don't know why I thought he could. The parry was almost good. But he... Wow. Um, I would have thought he would try to do some Bella Tag route or something. Because Big Band is really low on life. One reversal is gonna kill him, but I guess yeah, he doesn't need to... Yeah, he doesn't need to, he can just keep doing this stuff. He doesn't need to gamble that hard. Oh, he keeps doing it. Just spend the bar. Oh, he wants to save it for the big band, I guess. I would have spent the bar. I would be incredibly fearful. Uh, yeah. If you have sounds done there, you should try to take taunt. Uh, I don't think you can take taunt. But, so you can take, um. You can take. Oh, sorry, I made A train. You can't take taunt, you can't take A train. Anyway. Yeah. <laughs> I think CJ almost tried to do level 5, but there was no reason to level 5 there anymore. It's quite tragic, really. Uh, nice blocking. No, that was so bad. Just let him land and punish. No. <laughs> Please don't lose the game because of this. Wow, Optimum. <laughs> Valentine Reversal is actually pretty alright. 
Considering the reversals in the air, which are traditionally not very good. Oh no, no. Carl's like lost to drop combos. <laughs> okay, what's gonna happen here? Surely, uh, it's almost a kill. Is that no? Oh, Pog. There was never any doubt. Well, anyway, we continue on forward. No, yeah, the be the dead cross doesn't seem like that good. It doesn't do any damage, and like, and the lock lockout isn't really that much, especially because in neutral Valentine doesn't seem to make great, or CJ doesn't seem to make great use of the lockout. Anyway, so like you get dead cost worth the damage. It doesn't. So you're not playing for the damage because dead cost damage isn't anything, and you're not really playing. Oh wow, amazing! You're not really playing for the lockout because CJ isn't playing for the lockout. So it just seems like a bad idea. Honestly, might as well just let uh, Valentine rock, you know. Oh no, that's a treasure. Meter build, that's good. That meter build wasn't that good anyway. Is that cross up throw? I've never seen that before. Uh, sure. Is he gonna get punished? Why oh, he didn't get punished? You should be able to browse there, as well. especially if the uh, the. Because the level 3 isn't going to break your armor at that range anyway. No, what a drop. Oh, that's so sad. Uh, it's not sad at all. Screw Bella, I don't care. And this truly is tragic. It's like Bella is stupid and Squiggly is stupid. And Big Ben's are stupid. What a breed! That sucks. And CJ has like made good reads and stuff, but like dropped every other combo. Jedi has also dropped combos, but like Jesus Christ. This is a sloppy set everywhere. And will we continue on forward? Like I don't know, there's not a whole lot to mention there actually, like I think just a couple of things. It's like yeah. Like the Dead Cross doesn't do anything, I don't know. It doesn't seem that great. Okay, gets the Oh, that dropped again! This is just drops everywhere, dog. Oh. Wow, that worked. No, that sucks. Valentine didn't do anything again. Yeah, that crossbow is really cheap. You need to get like a frame perfect double jump um, because there's no buffer on that. On incoming. Just getting schmixed here. No! Oh wow, it keyword. The slop everywhere, jeez. Jesus. Okay, so that punish was good because the Big Ben gets knocked down. So the the time basically it takes for Big Ben to come back for Jedi is going to be longer because he has to he gets knocked down, then he has to get back up, and then he has to leave. That's so much better than like flicking a dead cross or something. This is a hefty chunk of change. One reset will kill here, I think. I guess that will kill too. And it's over. So overall, like a decent set. Um, not the most amazing, actually. But it's okay. Thank you everybody for watching From Chump to Champ with Chimp series this year. I learned a lot from making it, and I hope everybody enjoyed it. Um, from next year, my plan is to slow down on these because I'll be doing postgrad next year, especially starting in February. I'm not sure what I'll do. I'll still keep making content. I just don't know how frequently. There's still more in stock, even though I have postgrad. I still aim to keep making videos. I just don't know what my schedule will be. But yeah, anyway, thank you everybody for watching. See you guys around.